Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this hat. I'm calling it my Valentine hat, but it's not just necessarily for Valentines. And I just used a whole bunch of different colors of yarn to make this easy hat. So let's get started and I'm going to show you how to make it. Okay, to make this hat, I just used basically these three colors and I used a tiny little bit of this purple color. So here I have this shocking pink color and then I used this light pink and then here for this color I used these turquoise colors. These are all red heart yarn. Then I had the shocking pink again. I had a row with some purple. Went back to this turquoise, pink, turquoise, pink, shocking pink, Look here, I even ran out halfway through a row. I ran out of the uh, purple color and then I just moved right along with turquoise, pink, and then the shocking pink, and the turquoise again. So it's just a matter of changing colors. And here, just to make a change, I did the spike stitch. And if you remember that, it's um, instead of doing a single crochet in the d row directly below, you go down one extra row. So I'm just going to get started and show you how to make this hat. So I'm going to work with Red Heart yarn and a 9mm crochet hook. And I'm going to start with a slip knot. And I'm going to do a baby size. So I'm going to chain 24. So chain, just pick up the yarn, pull it through. Pick up the yarn, pull it through. I'm going to make 24 chain stitches. Okay, I have 24 chain stitches and I'm going to slip stitch to join, being careful not to twist the chain. So I'm going to chain one and I'm going to single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So single crochet, insert the hook, pull the yarn through, pick up the yarn, pull it through. So I'm going to single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Like that and go all the way around. Okay, I single crocheted in each stitch all the way around the end of the row. I'm going to slip stitch to join in the top of the first single crochet. So slip stitch to join. Like that. And I'll just take my next color and I'm just going to pull it through that stitch. And I'm just going to tighten that up a little bit. And I'm going to turn and I'm going to single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around. At the end of the row, I'm going to slip stitch to join. And now if I wanted to use this color again, I would simply pull it up through that stitch, make sure I have turned in the other direction, and again, single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around. If you're going to carry your yarn on the inside of the hat, you have to make sure you always ensure that it is on the inside of the hat and it doesn't get trapped on the outside. And for the next row, I'm going to combine this called Artist Print. Again, that's a Red Heart yarn, and I'm going to combine it with this violet color. Pull it through that last stitch, turn my work, and I'm going to single crochet each stitch all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around. I slip stitched to join, and I'm going to go back to this color. In this row, I'm going to make a spike stitch every second stitch. So, single crochet, just the same as you would as usual. And instead of single crocheting here, I'm going to go down to this stitch, and I'm going to single crochet. Single crochet normally in the next stitch. For the next stitch, go all the way down to the next row. And that will give your work a different kind of a look. And it's all just single crochets, but the fact that you just make the stitch a little differently will give you a whole different look. Okay, I finished that row, and you can see there's the spike stitch. So it was single crochet, spike, single crochet, spike. Now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to finish the hat in this reddish color, and then I'll come back and show you how to finish up the top of the hat. 
Okay, I finished enough rows to make a newborn size hat. And if you wanted to stop now and not close this up, you could have a headband. And I've threaded some yarn into a yarn needle. And I'm going to weave it all the way around. I'm just going to pass through every second stitch. So skip one stitch. It'll just make less bulk at the top of the hat. Skip a stitch, come through the next one. I'm going to do that all the way around. Okay, I've gone all the way around. And then at the end, just going to pull that yarn and I'm just going to tie a knot here, so tie a knot and then I'm just going to weave back and forth into the finished work and then weave all my yarn ends into the finished work and I'll have a cute little newborn baby sized hat and there's how the hat looks so that's it, that's a really easy way for you to make a hat you could use up lots of little yarn ends and scraps and make a cute hat for anyone I'm going to give you all the different sizes in the pattern below this video. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye for now.